Okay, you guys, welcome to So Bad It's Good. Uh, I wanted to get, listen, we are at the end of Vanderpump Rules Season 10, and what a season it was. Um, We had the Secrets Revealed episode this week, and we all kind of want to know, we see Sandoval on the road. He is doing his Tom Sandoval and the Most Extras tour, Um, but we, we don't know a lot. Like, he hasn't done any podcasts since Howie Mandel. We saw the reunion, which was filmed months ago, but I, I, we got a gift today. To, uh, on Thursday, we got a gift that I woke up and I got a TMZ alert that one of my favorite backgrid TMZ reporters, Josh, and just to remind you, if you haven't seen my previous videos, Josh has this great unassuming quality where he'll run up on these Vanderpump people and be like, okay, okay, hey, what's going on, you guys? Uh, hey, Ariana, uh, okay, okay, is it true that um, Tom cheated on you? <laughs> it's always, and I really got to say, I grew to love Josh through the course of Scandal. He did that amazing interview with Raquel outside the nail salon. He did multiple Tom Sandoval ones where Tom Sandoval had to teach Josh Josh, he was like, hindsight 2020, dude. And Josh was like, okay, okay. Like, what does hindsight mean? He's like, no, dude, hindsight is 2020. It was fascinating. And we have seen Josh, we haven't seen Josh a lot lately. In fact, the last two walk-in talks have been by a different um, a different TMZ backgrid guy. And I don't think that guy is nearly as charming as Josh is. So it was like Christmas morning to wake up to realize we have a new Tom Sandoval uh, paparazzi video, and it is done by Josh. And I will say, I can't take, I don't know if this is so bad it's goods doing or not, but he does not say, okay, okay, as nearly, because he used to do it after every coin, like, okay, okay, uh, Tom, do you think Raquel's pretty? Okay, okay. He would say it nonstop. We don't really get to hear that a lot in this video. So we're going to go through this video. We're going to watch it or listen to it all. At, well, if you're listening to this on the podcast, but if you're watching that on YouTube, we're going to watch the video all together as a family. And then we're going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to stop, start and give some of my thoughts. So are you ready to go on this journey? Here is Tom Sandoval. And, and for you listening that can't see this, he does not have the mustache. He's in a Tom Tom hat, big glasses. Um, and, uh, I think that's all you need to know. I think he is like at some storage facility, potentially let's, let's watch this together and, and see what we can gain from this, but enjoy here is Tom Sandoval doing a paparazzi interview today. Raquel doing a lot of people are worried about her mental health. Um, I don't have any comment about her. Okay. Is she doing well though? Like, uh, that's, that's a comment. I don't have okay. Comment. All right. Um, Tom Short just came out and said he's stepping out and he's not really talking to you anymore. Do you have anything to say about no, he that? he didn't say that. Actually. He didn't? It's been corrected like five times. Okay. Yeah, so you guys are still just talking. People hear what they want to hear. He said, uh -huh. he's, he said he's indefinitely over the scan, talking about Scandaball. Okay. Not Sandoval, Scandaball. Yeah. Scandaball. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So this will be like probably the fifth or sixth time that's been cleared up. But all right, yeah, all right. You know. I just, just had to make sure. Yeah. Uh, as far as the t-shirt comment, you're getting a lot of hate for it. Do people take it out of context? Yeah, they or, did. Or is that what you really meant? That is, I, I've never body shamed Ariana. Uh-huh, okay. Yeah. So it was just taken out of context. It, it was not, no, 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 I don't know if that was taken out of context. I think people added their own context to it. Okay. So um, just, it had nothing to do with her body or anything. It had to do with somebody being very just in off. Uh, enthusiastic. Okay, okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Unthusiastic. Like, yeah. If somebody like wanted to have sex with me and I like just unzipped my zipper and said like, "Oh, hurry up! I gotta, I gotta meet somebody yeah, for lunch." Yeah. It, it was more about the enthusiasm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Also, uh, when's when's Raquel getting out? Do you have any? Because um, um, a lot of people just want to know. No idea. Now. So you have no idea. She's, no idea. You, you guys still talk or? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I just don't want to comment on anything with her. I let her tell her own story. Okay. When she's right. ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. Well, yeah. hope Thanks, it. Man. Yeah, I'll you're welcome. You All right, see you. Woo! Okay. Um, that was truly incredible without any of my commentary. I've watched it now like seven times. I've enjoyed it every time. Uh, let's go through this. And just so you know, it starts really ab abruptly, the clip, but already he Josh is asking about. Raquel Rachel because Raquel has been you know at her mental health facility I think she is still there to this day and uh let's get into this and we're gonna stop a bunch so get ready folks here we go Tom Sandoval second time through 
with our friend Josh from TMZ. Your health doing a lot of people are worried about her mental health. Um, I don't have any comment about her. Okay, she doing. Dude, he's such a star now. He's got the white nails. He's carrying a Ralph's bag, a book bag. He's got the Tom Tom emblazoned logo hat. He's got his Fruit Loop necklace on, and he's got this T-shirt with like what is that? Like a wave or a mountain? And I don't know. It's very. He's got red pants on. It's an amazing, you know, outfit, but he's made it like, dude, I want to talk about Raquel, dude. Just no, that's I don't want to talk about that. But Josh, this guy's so brave and unassuming that you can never hate Josh. That's why I like he's my favorite TMZ guy, because he can get away with asking those questions that, you know, Tom is not going to like. Now, also, I don't know, like, I think this is a storage facility of some sort. But it could also be like the docks. I'm like, are they in Jersey or something? It's like, it's a very interesting, but I think it's storage because you got a moving truck in the background. And I think he's loading in or like unloading band equipment or maybe stuff from his shitty last apartment. Who knows? Also, I had mentioned this on a Patreon uh, that I just did before. Tom is being photographed in the Tom Tom hat more than he ever has been in the last year. And I do wonder if there is some sort of I know there's a little bit of a falling out of Schwartz and Sandys in terms of his business partners. But I'm curious of why the Tom Tom hat. Is that a is that a, a signal to us about something? We also know he's showing up to Tom Tom more. He was there this past weekend, but it, you know he could. They have Schwartz and Sandy's hat. Why is he not wearing a Schwartz and Sandy's hat? I'm curious if that will be a storyline in season eleven. I'm sure it will. Here we go. Waldo, like oh, that's that's a comment. No. Okay. Okay, so Josh is amazing, dude. He's like no comment on Raquel, and and then Josh goes, but is she doing? <laughs> So she goes, is he doing good? And Tom, he's a teacher, dude. He's like a father figure to Josh in a sense. He's like, dude, that's what no comment means, dude. Come on, dude. No comment means that, dude. Like, he's not angry. He's just like, Josh, come on, dude. And I want to, like, I want to remind everybody, if you forgot, Josh is also the reporter that he made a Kyle Chan friendship bracelet. You know how they're doing all the friendship bracelets at the Taylor Swift shows right now? Tom Sandoval was making his little Fruit Loop necklaces and his bracelets over at Kyle Chan Jewelry. Uh, and just a quick shout out. If you are uh, cheating in a relationship, Kyle Chan is one of the, the number one places to go for jewelry if you are in the market and are cheating on uh, any kind of relationship you're in. So he made a friendship bracelet for Josh and gave it to Josh. He's like, okay, okay. Oh, dude, this is crazy. Like, amazing. So I love the no comment. And also just like, you can see in this image, he's carrying like, three bags also there's this gentleman to the right i don't know if that's his manager or what but you notice he is also wearing a tom tom hat these tom tom hats are everywhere all right um tom shorts just came out and said he's stepping out and he's not really talking to you anymore do you have anything to say about no, he that he didn't say that actually he did it he didn't say that actually dude you want to get tom sandoval mad you say his friendship with schwartz is in danger he'll be like dude no dude you listen right now, Josh, dude. This is where we draw a line, dude. No, that's no, he did not say that. Now, of course, he is talking about um, Tom Schwartz is on this show where he pretends to go to Mars to win money on Fox called Stars on Mars. And he did a talking head on Mars saying that um, he's like, dude, I'm just I don't know, man, like they like associated me with Scandaball and like all of this and. I got to say, I think I'm just, I'm stepping away from it all, from Scandaval. And I was aware that he meant Scandaval. Like, I knew what Tom Schwartz meant. I think him and Tom Sandoval are going to have issues in their friendship. But I knew in that moment he wasn't announcing to Fox first before Bravo that he was never talking to Sandoval. But everybody ran with it. Entertainment Tonight, like, it got pushed out as an actual news story and nobody actually watched the video. But I love that Sandoval was like, dude and he turns around and he's got those big glasses on his like tom tom hat and his fruit fruit loop necklace it's very intense it gets really intense it's been corrected like five times okay yeah, so you guys are still talking what they want to hear he said uh -huh. he it's been corrected five times dude people hear what they want to hear in this world man fuck dude these people, people are crazy, dude. At multiple times in this video, he blames people. He blames like, dude, people stupid, dude. And I love how indignant he is. And I thought that was kind of fascinating from a human behavior standpoint, because you would think maybe in a sense, or I would think there's to be some kind of apologetic kind of like, oh, dude, 
things are so crazy. I'm so tired of this. And instead he's like, dude, I'm going to tell you that time, dude. Like he's like defensive and he's angry. And I know there's a lot of Tom Sandoval fans out there, which I think cool, but I, you know, I don't know. I really can't celebrate him with any of this, uh, but I'm glad that uh, you guys can. Um, and hopefully, you know, down the line, things will change. But uh, I think his indignance, I think that's going to be so interesting to watch season 11. If he comes in at a 10 like this, very indignant. And you've got to wonder if he thinks that a lot of these cast members owe their success right now to him. And in a sense, they do. But also, Tom wasn't cheating on Raquel for the cast, you know? Oh. He said he's indefinitely over the scan, talking about Scandaval. Okay. Not Sandoval, yeah. Scandaval. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. He, goes, he was definitely talking about Scandaval, not Sandoval, Scandaval. And he's using this like karate chop motion when he's doing it. And I, once again, it's like a very teachable moment of like, dude, it happens all the time, dude. You know how many times I get confused with Scandaval? And I'm like, I'm Sandoval. But it's like, they're talking about Scandaval. And I'm like, are you talking about me? I like that he also can't separate. He's like, it was a clear delineation. I might be Sandoval, but Scandaval is very far away from me. I mean, it's, it's very much one and the same in a lot of ways. So this will be like probably the fifth or sixth time that's been cleared up. But, all right, yeah. all right. Dude, I'm tired of clearing this up, dude. Like the fifth or sixth time, or seventh or eighth. What comes after eight, Josh? Nine? Okay. Or it could be the ninth time it's clear. I, I'm going to clear this up for the rest of my life. You know what'll be the funny thing if Schwartz is like, uh, actually, I did say I didn't want to talk to you again. Like I, I really don't. Like that would be. But I, I don't. I think that is. I think their relationship is not the strongest that it's ever been, but I don't think it is in jeopardy the way that it is being painted out to be right now. You know. I just had to make sure. Yeah. Um, as far as the t-shirt comment, you're getting a lot of hate for it. Do people take it out of context? Yeah, they or, did. or is that what you... Okay, so the t-shirt comment, of course, he was referring to in the third part of the reunion that he said kind of flippantly to Andy of like, yeah, leave their shirt on during sex, real sexy, you know, something of that nature. And he has, was that t-shirt comment taken out of context, which I think there is a, a larger conversation for Josh and Sandoval in terms of these big words and what they mean potentially. And I, anywho, but like, once again, remember that is taken out of context. He's like, yeah, dude, you know, people so stupid. And so we were like, okay, what is he going to say? Like, how did we take his comment about Ariana not taking her shirt off? in a very flippant tone on a reunion when he is facing allegations that he had cheated on her for nine months, his dumpling that he loved so much. And he said this horrific thing. Then here's his explanation right here. You really mad? That is, I, I've never body shamed Ariana ever. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So it was just taken out of context. It, it was not, no, 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 no. I don't know if that was taken out of context. I think people added their own context to it. Okay. So um, just... Wasn't taken out of context. People added their own context to it. Context is a crazy thing. Sometimes you can have too much context. Sometimes you can have a little context. Uh, context is kind of crazy. But yes, I have never body shamed Ariana. Now, I have shamed her in terms of sexuality, in terms of being sexual with me. I will definitely shame her. But no, nah, not body shaming. It was just, you know, it was an ugly t-shirt, really. It had nothing to do with her body or anything. It had to do with somebody being very just in off, uh, unenthusiastic. Okay, okay. Am I crazy? Did he say unenthusiastic instead of unenthusiastic? I, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm just, I'm forgetting how to say things as I watch this video more and more. It's like, it's not, it's like, it's being unenthusiastic. <laughs> and so he's now explaining to Josh that it is not the t-shirt. It's just that she wasn't in, she wasn't a enthusiastic sexual partner for Tom because Tom is very enthusiastic about sex. And if you listen to that Howie Mandel podcast, he talked about life and loving to jerk off in the bathroom to porn. We can only imagine what he made that poor Raquel do. Um, but this is, he swayed it more. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. Enthusiastic. Like, yeah. Enthu enthusiastic. Like, wanted to have sex with me and I like just unzipped my zipper and said like, oh, hurry up. I gotta, I gotta meet somebody yeah. for lunch. Yeah. It, it was By the way, I think that's exactly what he did to Miami girl. <laughs> 
hey, I'm joking. But Miami girl, actually, now that is confirmed. So he's saying that, and I love that thought of like, it's like if I undip my pants and just say, do your business, I got to go to lunch. I'm like, where did you even get that example? Like, who's... Who's giving? And I love that Josh is like he's like walking Josh through this. Like Josh, I want to I want to make sure you know how what what a good example of this. And then Josh's head. I wonder if he's thinking of like, how, can I relate this to anything in my life? Okay, okay, okay. Like yeah, okay, okay. I've never actually done that to a girl. Okay, okay. I also want to know what Josh personally thinks about this. Like Josh said, he wasn't really a Vanderpump Rules viewer, but then he started watching it. And in one of the videos, like, okay, okay, I don't even see what that big, of, it's like a big deal. But now I want to know if Josh watched the reunions and what Josh thought of that comment. Because I don't think any of us were completely taking it out of context, whatever. It's that it was a very hurtful comment, regardless if it was shit. I never took it, uh, uh, I, I never took it as, um, Tom thought her body was ugly. Like I never, like I, I, I just thought that it was like he was saying we need to get down and dirty, and you need to take off every stitch of clothing. And potentially Ariana might have felt uncomfortable, and he didn't potentially make her feel sexy enough. So he is fighting those allegations right here. It's more about the enthusiasm. Okay. Yeah. All right. The enthusiasm. It was about the enthusiasm. All right. Yeah. All right. Also, uh, when's love the smile? Tom then like kind of flashes him a smile of like. Did we learn something, dude? Huh? Learning. It's crazy. You know, nice guy. Josh is his buddy. He has a friendship bracelet. When's the Kel getting out? Do you have any... Um... Dude, Josh is my favorite. Josh is my favorite. Josh literally hits him with a Raquel... A Raquel... <laughs> Raquel question. We start the interview with no comment. Oh, uh, yeah, but is Raquel... Do <laughs> is Raquel doing okay? That's what no comment means, Josh. And then Josh is so damn smart and with it, and so unassuming that he's like, he gets him to explain that whole un enthusiasm thing. And then Josh goes, hey, when's Raquel getting out, dude? <laughs> and you see Tom. He's like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Did Josh just hit me with another Raquel question after I said no comment? Uh, There's a lot of people just want to no know. No idea. Now. So you have no idea? And she's, no idea. You, got, you guys still talk or? Uh, yeah, I just don't want to comment on anything with her. I let her tell her own story. I'll let her tell her own story, dude. She's got a one woman show on Broadway this fall and it's amazing. It's called Raquel over the rainbow. And it's like, I've seen some of the earlier draft. It's really, we're doing the music for it. It's awesome. Um, but I like, you know, I would have thought like Tom already, ex Tom explodes when it involves Schwartz with Raquel. He's like, no, nah, I just, uh, you know, I'm going to let her tell her own story. If you know, I just don't feel comfortable talking about that. He's being a nice guy at least, but it is, it is fascinating to me how much he stands up for protecting Raquel when, you know, this whole time, I don't feel like he's, you know, protected Ariana. I mean, obviously with his actions in terms of the cheating, but even since then, in just like his non-apology apologies on social media that he apologized to his business partners first, and then had to redo that. It was like, of course I say sorry to Ariana. Of course. I find that very odd though. But for Raquel, it's like, no, dude, I'm going to protect everything. So there is that part of me that does speculate that Tom has slept with women on the road. And like, I think, I think plenty of women still want to be with Tom Sandoval, you know, please let him, please let me know in the comments. But I do think there's potentially still some kind of movement there in terms of Raquel and Tom. I will be very curious about what Raquel is going through. And the longer she stays quiet, the smarter that is. But it also gets us to forget a little bit. Now, these videos don't really, I think, help Tom in the way that he potentially wants them to, because I think he tips off Josh where he's going to be. They don't really help the way I think he wants. None of Tom's things, maybe the band stuff a little bit, but people go on there to dunk on him a lot of the times. I do enjoy Tom Sandoval's band, um, but I think there's something really weirdly distasteful and disrespectful about that because he'll do bits of like, dude, this next song I played and then my phone fell out of my pocket. And that was the night Ariana found out I was cheating on her. And everybody's like, yeah, like it's weird. It's like cringy and disrespectful, but he obviously gets his yayas out on it, so great. But the Raquel thing, the longer she stays quiet, the more we are willing to listen 
when she does come back. I don't know if I'm in the minority for that. I don't think we're in the mood to completely forgive this. I mean, obviously, Team Ariana all day, every day. But there is that element of, well, I am curious what Raquel has learned on her journeys. The only thing that kind of bums me out is that we do know she was sending letters to Tom, and one of those was a postcard with a lightning bolt from Sedona, I think. And it was like, just thinking of you. This reminded me of you. And that was like, oh, shit. Like, I don't think Tom is good for Raquel. I don't think Tom's definitely good for Ariana, but I don't think Tom's good for Raquel either. And the fact that these terrible twosome coming together, I think I would hope that whoever in this facility that's working with her would potentially see that this is not great. But time will tell, right? Okay. When she's right. ready. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I get that. I get that. Well... Yeah. Hope it, yeah, I'll you're welcome. You All right, see you. All right, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, dude, see you later. Tom turns around with his Ralph's bag, and he's like, yeah. Anyways, I, I was so excited for that. It was a minute and 20 seconds or something, but it gave me so much joy. What do you guys think? And, and I mean, I'm really curious where we go from here because they pick up cameras, I think, June 24th or 25th, which is, oh, that's like a week and a half away. Uh, I am still of the mind that I think Raquel will not join until mid season or towards the end. And it'll be a big reveal moment. So I'm curious, Tom Sandoval and the most extras did a show in San Diego on Wednesday that I saw a lot of people. It is weird. It's like the grateful dead in the sense that people are like, just kind of tripping out, like, you know, meeting each other, dressing crazy, uh, you know, I don't know if people are passing around bootleg cassettes of Tom Sandoval and the most extras from their soundboard, but it's wild. I, I do love these videos and I love Josh. If anybody knows Josh personally, please put me in touch with Josh. I am dying to interview him. So wanted to get that to you guys. Hope you're having a great day and I will talk to you later unless you're listening to this on the podcast and then you're going to hear more of me right now. And also YouTube, go follow the podcast. We have guests that sometimes aren't even on these YouTube videos and tons of stuff that you probably have not heard before. So go check us out over there. Okay. Bye guys.